This question in itself is very revealing. Why? Because almost everyone does relationships, wrong. By that, I mean that most people get into a relationship first, then try to get to know the other person. I also have done this for 35 years. It's very much, cart before the horse, and is why so many relationship, flail and fail. If we all, took a chill pill, slowed down, stopped chasing love and just had lots of friends, this type of question would be moot. Why? Because if we made lots of good, deep friendships, the one that blossomed into love would already have all the underpinning friendship in place, and we would know the other person really well already. We wouldn't get surprised by any deep dark secrets or unhealthy behaviors because we would have taken the time to get to know them in a very well-rounded way. Better to be alone than with someone we barely know. Yet, in a kind of collective insanity, we all believe that for some totally illogical reason it's possible to fall in love with someone who is all but a stranger and then be able to build a deep friendship after the fact. Never mind the fact that once we are romantically involved with someone, we all pretty much get that vested interest thing happening where we paint over the cracks, gloss over the imperfections, and just try to make it work. Because we'll never find anyone else, right? Wrong. There is no such thing as the only one for me. That's a satanic lie of the first order. Asterisk I asterisk I often despair of the human race. We are so much like a bunch of children who just want to eat cake and ice cream, never seeming to want to take our time to do things properly. Note, I'm part of this collective weirdness, but I'm working on scrubbing it out of my life. I hope many others reading this and my other posts will have a Rima moment where they get how important it is to not be hell-bent on romance, even worse, without the proper solid foundation of deep friendship already in place.